hello friends once again welcome back to the automation revolution today in this video uh, we will learn about push button logic and uh, i hope uh, after watching this video you will clear your doubts uh, like how many times you can take nonc contact uh, how many times you can take uh, output coil and uh, where to take uh, nonc contact for that output coil how many uh, networks you can develop in uh, one logic so this type of questions uh, can be cleared after watching this video so please uh, keep watching and uh, to uh, end here uh, we will develop two uh, programs uh, step by step first we will uh, see sec uh, first program and uh, now i will read statement program statement so here uh, when s1 push button is pressed then motor m1 turns on so this is our first condition uh, for this plc program here we need to uh, take care about uh, input is here we are using s1 push button so our input is push button type so when uh, push button is coming in, uh, in your picture so that time take care push button always give you pulse so uh, here we are not getting uh, continuously input push button uh, always provide you uh, only single pulse so when uh, we are getting s1 pulse from this push button then output m1 should be on second condition is when s1 push button is pressed m1 turns off and m2 turns on so here uh, we are getting s2 pulse from this input then output m2 uh, turns on and m1 should be off third condition is when s3 push button is pressed that time we are getting one pulse and from there output m3 should be on and m2 should be off and last condition when s4 push button is pressed and m1 will be on and m3 output uh, will be off so this is the total cycle and now uh, based on this logic and cycle uh, we will develop ladder logic in uh, siemens ti portal software so now i will open this ti portal software and uh, you can see I have already configured Siemens 1200 series PLC 1 to 1 for C AC DC relay. You can watch here, and uh, you can also uh, develop this PLC tags. So in PLC tag table, I have already taken input and output addressing, and I have given the tag name also uh, according to our input and output. Now uh, we will go to main OB, and here uh, we will develop net, uh, network or ladder logic so first condition we will see when s1 push button is pressed then m1 should be on so now i will use here open contact and i will assign addressing i0.0 .0. so this will be our s1 switch or s1 push button and here output q0.0 .0. Uh, means m1 will be on so here uh, this input is push button so we need to compulsory take latch in this letter so when s1 uh, giving pulse then output uh, will be continuously on until uh, we are uh, closing this branch by stop button second condition uh, condition is when s2 push button is pressed m2 output will be on and m1 should be off so here i will use second input s2 and addressing will be i0.1 and output q0.1 so this will be uh, our output m2 and here also i will use latching So same addressing you can use for NO contact uh, by latching uh, this network and uh, the condition is when S2 push button is pressed M2 should be on and M1 should be off. So for making this M1 output off here I will use NC contact and I will assign S2 push button NC contact here. So when S2 is pressed then M2 is on and M1 will be off. Now we will see third condition when S3 push button is pressed M3 output will be on and M2 should be off. Here I will use S3 means I0.2 
and output m3 means q0.2 here also we will take latching by giving a uh, open contact addressing q0.2 the same which we have used here in dealer coil now when s3 push button is pressed then m3 should be on and m2 should be off so here i will use s3 nc contact now we'll see the last condition when s4 push button is pressed then m1 output should be on and m3 should be off so here i will use in parallel contact because you can take only once uh, this coil q0.0 you cannot take second time this coil so this is the uh, technical uh, method for this plc programming so compulsory uh, we will take here or contact uh, or logic and assigning this s4 open contact so from s1 or s4 you can make this m1 or q0.0 output on so when s4 s4 is pressed m1 uh, will be on and here m3 should be off so here we have total uh, developed network 1 2 and 3 now i will compile and download this program in the plc so i will compile and uh, will download this logic in the plc and now we'll turn on this monitoring on so now we'll check uh, our logic and uh, we'll see every condition so right now all three output m1 m2 and m3 uh, all three output are off so first i will uh, give this pulse from s1 input from the plc so you can see uh, by giving this s1 pulse m1 output is on m2 and m3 output both output uh, right now off now uh, we will see second condition when uh, s2 output uh, sorry s2 input will uh, give then m1 should be off and m2 should be on so now i am giving s2 pulse so you can see now m1 output uh, is on uh, sorry off and m2 output uh, is on and uh, now we will see third condition by giving s3 input pulse So when I am giving S3 uh, pulse then M3 output is on and now M2 is off. Now we will see uh, last condition by pressing this S4 push button. So when S4 push button you are pressing then once again M1 is on and M3 will be off. So uh, the program is working as per our condition and uh, logic is uh, exactly okay cycle is uh, running as per our condition now i will go for monitoring off and uh, now we will see second logic in second logic uh, when s1 push button is pressed then m1 and m2 output uh, should be uh, on so here by giving one pulse at a time two output will be on and one output should be off m3 when you are pressing s2 input then m1 m2 and m3 output should be on and m1 should be off and when s3 is pressed m1 m3 output should be on and m2 should be off so here we can see from one input at a time two output should be on and one output should be off now we'll uh, develop a little logic for this condition once again we will go for this main ob and here i will delete all networks and once again we will start from initial so here uh, first i will take s1 input and we will see the condition when s1 input is pressed then output m1 and m2 both will be on so here i will uh, take input output uh, sorry m1 now uh, we will see the logic when s2 is pressed then m2 and m3 output should be on 
so now i will take x2 input and i will use here m2 here also we are using push button so compulsory we will take latch for this coil by giving uh, open contact here also i will use m2 and last condition is when we will press s3 then m1 and m3 should be on so here i am uh, first i am giving only one output now uh, based on this little logic we will develop condition so when s1 input is pressed then m1 and m2 should be on so uh, here already we have used m1 uh, output so in second network i will use or condition for making this m2 output on so here i will also use s1 input so you can see when s1 input is pressed then m1 m2 both will be on and m3 should be off so by pressing s1 this m1 will be on and by uh, this second uh, s1 contact m1 m2 should be on and we need to off this m3 so for that i will here use nc contact for s1 now we will see second condition when s2 is pressed then m2 and m3 should be on and m1 should be off so when s2 is pressed m2 is on here also we will use or and i will assign s2 here so when s2 is pressed m2 is on m3 is also on and m1 should be off so here we will use s2 contact last condition when s3 is pressed m1 and m3 should be on and m2 should be off so here when s3 is pressed m2 should be off and m1 and m3 should be on so once again i will use here or contact s3 and uh, m1 and m3 here also already uh, we have used s3 and in first network we have used s3 for making m1 and m3 so now uh, our program is ready uh, we'll compile and download so you can see uh, here we have used only nonc contact multiple times and here this coil q0.0 0.1 and 0.2 we have used only once so you can take this output uh, coil nonc contact multiple time but you cannot take this output coil uh, multiple times you need to use only once this output coil in every network you can use this input uh, contact nonc contact many times but you cannot take this output coil so this uh, uh, this is very important thing we need to take care while well, uh, we are uh, doing later logic now i will download this program in plc and i will on monitoring first i will go for memory reset so because already from the past program this output is on and once again uh, we will go for run so here i have uh, done memory reset so we can start from initial 
so i will first press this s1 switch so we need m1 and m2 output on so we'll check this i'm pressing s1 push button so you can see m1 and m2 both output is on now and m3 is off now now i'm pressing s2 push button so from s2 we need m2 and m3 output on so now m2 and m3 both output are on and m1 is off now we will press s3 output sorry s3 input so now m3 and m1 is on and m2 is off so this is how we can develop little logic and uh, uh, i hope after watching this video uh, you cleared your doubt about nonc contact and uh, output relay coil thank you very much uh, for watching this video